In the middle of the Brazilian jungle, a city was built on a dream of creating the perfect city. The idea was that there should never be more than half a million people living in Brasilia. But the urban sprawl already started when the builders of the city arrived. We explored the city without a plan and did not study the history too much, as we wanted to experience it firsthand. Have a look at what we discovered by exploring Brasilia. We are sitting in the shade of the trees because we couldn't find the museum. This is just another sign, sign and probably proof that I am not made for museums. We are in Brasilia, there's beautiful buildings here and we've been walking around, we've been looking at maps, we've been on Google Maps and nowhere to be found is the museum. But we've been to two museums over here. One. Okay, one and a half. So it's really beautiful, but, but we kind of think that the museum is underground, which is already a problem if you want to see it or find it. And we think it is that that square building over there. It's very cold and cold. No, not that one. That one. Okay. Uh, I think one. it's that small one. And I think you must go down, but we are actually very tired just from trying to find the museum, so we are going to... A market. A market. It's easier to find. Oh, nuts. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we, we're nutty for a museum, so yes. we'd rather go and buy nuts. The museum drives me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> the buildings in Brasilia are very striking and makes you think of science fiction from the 70s. On first glance, you're not sure what you are looking at and what is the purpose of the buildings. Big parts of the buildings are underground and white concrete is the predominant building material. The city was designed with the idea to keep the buildings low and to, to allow for a lot of green spaces all around. It's very hot in Brasilia, so the white color helps to keep things cool. The central cathedral made me think of a candle holder and the clock tower took me a while to figure out what it was. We just gave each building our own names till we figured out what they were. Driving through the center city, or Plano Pilato, pilot plan in English, we kept wondering, what were they thinking when they built this building? Okay, so now it's from the flame and the candle holder that actually is the church clock to the half a ball, or maybe the atomic sign. Let's go and have a look. hot although well, it's only 9 9.30 in the morning so what do you think of the ball Lenny? I think it looks like can you remember that old TV program we watched Red and, Red Red and, and International, International. <laughs> oh it looks like their base maybe yeah We found that a lot of buildings were closed, for example this museum. Although the hours were on display, we went knocking but there was nobody home. 
As you've made it this far in the video, you must be liking it, so please hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notified of all our future adventures. What do you think that is, honey? It looks like a simple DNA structure, but um, I'm open for suggestions. <sighs> we did like all the outdoor art that was scattered all over the central city. What was strange in the design of the city is that it only catered for cars. No thoughts were put into pedestrians, cyclists or wheelchair users. The pavements are extremely high and the bike paths that exist are new additions and are very patchy. The design stated that no building should be higher than this building, but the rule is only obeyed in the central town, and in the big sprawling neighbors around the city there are big apartment blocks. We managed to find this electronic art exhibition, but some of the exhibits really had us wondering, is this art? All the different government departments are arranged in one big avenue, in buildings that look like apartment buildings, with the idea that everybody works together in one big building and then drive home in the evenings. There was very few traffic jams, as the traffic layout was done very well, with very few intersections and mostly interchanges where you can merge into ongoing traffic. It did take some getting used to, as it's not quite the normal layout that we are used to driving in Brazil. We also love the big city park with lots of space to exercise, get a massage or just chill. But again, the oddly designed entrance had Karin wondering if we would fit underneath with our high roofed car. Good morning from Brasilia. And it's time for our morning coffee. It's a beautiful quiet morning in Brasilia. Can't believe I'm in the middle of a city. Found a brilliant little campsite. Quite a few people, other people camp while camping here. Very peaceful. Karin is still in a standard morning position. I did make the coffee this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly see um, what the city looks like from above.
And that wraps up our visit to Brasilia. Please let us know in the comments what you think of Brasilia and any future videos you would like to see. But next time on Fearless on Four Wheels. So as you can see, Tabatini is driving without a driver. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.